Welcome again to Faith Over Fear. Pastor John here. I want to continue on the, to explore the different avenues, if you will, of being thankful or giving thanks. Today I want to go to Paul's writing in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, where it says, Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. We're coming up on a season where people are thinking about giving. We just passed what they called Giving Tuesday. And uh, where you go online and donate to your favorite charities and and different things, and you get a special special mark off or a special uh, tax deductible deductible gift or whatever it might be. Um, God's God's given us many gifts. When we think about coming up on Christmas time, we think about gift giving and gift gift getting. Um, God's given us many gifts. If if you're listening to this today. Um, that's a gift in itself. I mean, first of all, you're alive. We're able to get up out of bed this morning and do what we needed to do. It might have taken some of us longer to do it. it. might have been more of an effort than what it used to, but we're still able to do it. You're able to hear. Deaf people everywhere can't hear what, what's going on around them. We're able to see. Um, you're able to understand what what we're saying and what we're going over. He's given us the gift of living in America in the greatest country in the world where people are still trying to get in and not trying to get out. I mean, how much... And, and but, but the unspeakable gift that he talks about is, of course, that of Christ on the cross. We're coming up on Christmas time where Christ was given as an example that we might see him but the real reason he was given at Christmas was so he could go to the cross at Easter. If it wasn't for Easter time, we'd all be headed for hell without any choice. There, there'd be no, there'd be no second place to go. Um, I mean, think, think about it. Christ on the cross, uh, the, the, the pain and the torment, the anguish. Think about Christ on the cross, uh, the, uh, the mockery, everything that he went through. Being put on, being put on trial, so to speak, for something he didn't do, something he hadn't done. I mean, how much, how much would it cost, you think, if we had to buy our salvation? Could we buy it by selling a house? Uh, no, there's no house big enough. There's some giant houses in the area. None of them are big enough to sell to buy your salvation. Preacher friend used to always say, "There's, there's nothing that you have." Or nothing that you'll ever own that's worth trading your salvation for. Or you have enough money to buy your salvation. So at this time of the year, no, I guess truly all year long if we're, if we're doing what God would really want us to do. But especially at this time of the year, our number, our number one thing to be thankful for is that of Christ himself. And the unspeakable gift that he's given us. Of course, that unspeakable gift. Uh, of Christ on the cross is us being able to go to heaven. So, thank you, Lord Jesus. Just thank you. You know, sometimes we need to just come to him and not not ask him for things, though he likes us to ask him for things. Not, not say we're sorry for something or begging for forgiveness, but just to, just to thank him for being God, just to thank him for being there. So as we go about today's work, whatever it might, whatever avenue it might take us, however deep in, deep in the, the the area we might get of working today, let's not forget to give Christ the thanks that He so rightly deserves. Till we're together again, you go out and make it a great, great day, and be thankful for for, for the day itself.